fly ball, right field, going back bats, track, wall, see ya, a two-run home run for Bird. Oh, that's a big hit for the Yankees and a big hit for Bird. Hey, everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T. We are catching up with Greg Burr, the Yankees' first baseman. He has returned to the lineup, looking to provide a big boost here in the playoff race. I don't think there are too many people that can relate to the path that you had to take to get back to this point over the last two seasons. But through it all, you've always seemed to have talked in a positive light. You are a positive person. So why do you think these experiences have made you better physically and mentally? I mean, obviously, you always want to be out there playing. So any, anytime you're dealing with an injury, it's, it's tough mentally and physically. Um, but I mean, the way I see things, you can get better, you can get worse. So I try to learn something from everything, everything that I encounter, really, and, and take something away from it. So through the experience, I feel like you can make yourself a better person and a player. Earlier this season, you're going day to day with your ankle troubles, not exactly knowing what was actually wrong with your body. How frustrating was that? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, um, obviously, you don't want something to happen. And then when, you, when something does happen, you want to know what's going on. But it, it's not an exact science, and it's, it's tough to figure those things out. So try and keep a positive attitude, like you said, and, and just keep, keep kind of going. And, and luckily, we figured it out, and, and we're past it now, and it's feeling good, and I'm glad to be back. A lot of people around the game, they say the time you missed has been valuable time for a 23 and a 24-year-old looking to develop here at the major league level. Why don't you think that'll be a problem with you? Um, I mean, you can't make up for lost time, so I don't really look at it like that. I mean, obviously it would have been nice to have been playing, but um, I got to go out and play now and, and get as much out of it as I can, really. When you lose time, you can't get it back, you know, so you can't worry about it. You just got to keep going and keep learning and keep getting better. Before this injury, you were having an absurd spring training. You were exciting a lot of people within this organization and the fan base. What was the month of March like for you? It was great. It was great being back. I mean, coming back from, from obviously what happened last year, missing the whole year, it was great to just be able to go out and play. Um, and I was looking forward to that for the season. And, and you get the hands are dealt, and you just deal deal with it and play it as best you can. And, and I'm glad to be back now feeling good and, and being a part of the team. Really. You came up in 2015 helping that team capture the top wild card spot. What do you think you could provide this year with this type of team? I know it's a, a different group. Yeah. So what do you see yourself doing here and moving forward here in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, just doing my job. Um, whatever that is, that's what I got to do. Um, and I think that's the cool thing about this team is everyone understands that they have a job to do and, and they got to put in the work every day and go out and do it. Since you return, has there been one specific hit where you recorded it and then maybe said to yourself, man, that feels good. I'm definitely back. Yeah, I mean, the first one always feels good. I mean, really just being back and, and being in the clubhouse and seeing your name in the lineup means everything to me. And just getting out there and playing every day has been a blast and, and really being a part of this team because it's a great team and a great group. All right, we can't let you go without getting an update on your cat. <laughs> a lot's happened since you introduced the world yeah. to Mr. Delicious. So what is going on in Lish's life? Uh, he's enjoying summer vacation back home in Colorado. <laughs> he's taking in the summer there, so... I'm hoping maybe to get him out here at some point for the rest of the season, but we'll see. I don't know if it'll work out. I got an apartment, um, so I, I, I'm, I'm hoping maybe I can get him out here for the rest of the season, but no promises. Right, hopefully he can enjoy a deep run with you well into the postseason. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thank you. You can see more Yankees on demand and Yankees scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.